think about getting airborne, it's absolutely essential to have good edging skills. I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm also going to look at some common problems in this area. What we're really looking to achieve here is a good solid pop without sending the kite. Here's a great exercise you can practice to improve your understanding of edging. Increase the edge, then release the edge and repeat. Notice the angle of the board facing upwind and all the pressure going through the back foot. Even looking with your head at the spray coming off your board can help you understand this technique. A closer look shows the majority of the pressure going through the back foot. The front leg stays straight. A common problem when you're learning to edge is sliding the board. This is happening because too much pressure is being applied to the front foot. Watch closely as I distribute my weight over both feet evenly. My front knee bends, which causes the board to flatten off, thus sliding. Another common problem is losing contact with the water. This is known as losing your edge, and it happens when you put too much pressure over both heels and the board skips out. So using those edging skills, let's try and get airborne. But wait, this guy's doing it all wrong. Trying to pop with the board flat is a definite no-no. But that looks better. Aim the board upwind and push hard off the back foot. Remember, we're not looking to use the kite here. Try and keep it nice and steady, just above 45 degrees. Experiment pulling the bar in just on takeoff to experience that feeling of lift. So once you've nailed this, you should be seeing some consistent jumps over one meter on your Woo session stats. 